Hi, this is Project 22 using a geometric shape pattern to do your stenciled sign. Um, what I decided to do with this project was a little bit different than normal. I decided to take my vinyl after I had it cut out and just put it directly on my board and then peel away the stencil pieces that I didn't want to use. I don't know why, I just thought I'd try something different and show you that you can do that as well. You don't have to pull it out first. So this first color I decided to use, I believe it's called Soapstone. It's also a fusion mineral paint. Once again, fusion mineral paint, the reason I like it so much is because it has a built-in top coat and I don't have to use as much of the paint um, because it's, it covers amazing. It's, it's an awesome paint and I use it not only for furniture, which they typically advertise it for, but I like to use it on signs too uh, to add detail for you know particular pieces like this one or for doing like my free writing. I don't like using it for a background so if you're thinking about that I don't recommend using it as a background and then with a stencil. It usually pulls up kind of funny and leaves like a little bit of a sticky coating. But anyways so I'm just using a small paintbrush for this and I'm just dabbing it kind of like when I did the we still do sign. You could also use a small round brush if you wanted to. I just thought with the, the smaller brush that I'm using here, it allowed me to get into the small areas where the vinyl is, so I didn't have to worry about it going underneath. Now, just remember, do light coats. Like with anything, when you paint it, do a lot of light coats so it doesn't get under there. And I think I used not quite two, no, I, I, I lied, I did use two coats. Um, on this stencil for each of the colors that I used. And you know what's great about this is that you can use as many as you want. If you want to use four different colors or just one color, what's nice about this particular template is that when you pull off the vinyl, it's going to reveal those different lines in between and just give it some really nice character. And as you can see, I, it dries really, really fast. I didn't have any issues with having to wait for too long before I pulled it. And then after that, it was ready for hangers and it was done.